Welcome to Tuesday's Tips from So Very Easy. My name is Laura and let's talk about the quarter inch seam allowance and the scant quarter inch seam allowance. There are two popular seam allowances in sewing. Five eighths for garment sewing, a quarter inch for quilting. The reason we have a five eighths seam allowance for sewing is that we can adjust the item that we made. If we want to make it a little bit bigger, we can because we have that extra in the seam allowance. In quilting, we are not making adjustments. We need that exact quarter inch seam allowance because quilting is more like puzzle making. The pieces need to go together. Even though a garment still needs to go together, there are a lot of areas that are not as precise as quilting. So a quarter inch is simply just that. You need a quarter inch from that raw edge and that's where your stitch line should be. So to test to see if you have a good quarter inch seam allowance, it's really easy. Take three pieces of fabric and it's just easier if you do them all the same size. So I have two and a half inches in all of them. And when the three pieces are sewn together with the quarter inch seam allowance, I've lost the quarter inch here. I've lost the quarter inch for this fabric here and here, which means this center piece will actually be a half inch smaller than what your cut size was. So once you have that sewn, you should be able to test and see if it's exactly at the two inch mark. So I have exactly two inches in between. If you have a little bit more or a little bit less, then your quarter inch needs to be adjusted. By maintaining an exact quarter inch, all of the pieces are going to join up together just like a puzzle. If you have too much, the pieces ended up being too big when they're compounded together. If they're too small, they're going to be too small as they're put together. Another important thing about a quarter inch seam allowance is to maintain that quarter inch through the entire piece. It cannot have any wavy lines. Those wavy lines are going to adjust that quarter inch inside. And a very common thing that happens is at the end, the stitches do not maintain that quarter inch. A lot of times they'll come off a little bit to the point or they'll come in. And by doing that, the ends are going to not be exact. So be sure that you have that quarter inch all the way right to the end. The other thing is the fact of the thread itself taking up fabric space and that's where the scant quarter inch comes in. I'm going to show you an exaggeration on how that thread takes up the space. The pink is representing thread. You have your top thread, you have your bottom thread and depending on the thickness of the thread will depend up how much space that is taken up in your sewing. That thickness takes up space right there in that seam. Even though I sewed the exact quarter inch, it is off because of the thickness of that thread. This has been an exaggeration, but it's still true with just your regular thread because you're adding two threads onto your quilting. So a scant quarter inch is subtracting those two threads. So where this is the quarter inch, I'm going to do it just on the other side of that quarter inch. Then when it's pressed and opened up, those two extra rows of thread that we put in there migrate inside of that fabric and it takes up that space, which gives us that scant quarter inch. So even though you have sewn less than a quarter inch, it will equal the space that you need in the center. And having that precise quarter inch seam allowance is going to make those puzzle pieces or those quilt pieces go together so very easy. Thank you for joining me today on Tuesday's Tips. Feel free to subscribe and as always, come on back. Let's see what we're sewing next time in the sewing room. Bye for now.